um, there's a lot of de, de, das, and those all mean the. And in English, we only have the. Hey guys, I'm Tisha Johnson. I am 22 and I am from the US, currently living in Germany. Um, you guys asked me a bunch of questions and I'm here to answer them for the au pair world. So, um, I came to Germany about a year and a half ago. I was living in Berlin. Um, I love Berlin. Um, but right now I'm living currently still in Germany in Rostock and we'll get to all of that soon. So I met a guy in the US about two years ago and I was doing a preschool teaching job and he was studying at the university and long story short we met and he wanted me to come back to Germany with him and I agreed. So with this being said we didn't really know too many options about what I can do since I was always a preschool teacher in the first place. I said, well, how about I do it up here a year just to see if I like Germany. I'm already doing something that I'm good at, which is watching children. So I will just do this for a year just to see what Germany has to offer me. So um, I made a au pair world profile and within literally the next day i had about 50 inboxes of parents um reaching out to me wanting me to become their au pair i was very um, overwhelmed but i was very happy that okay this is actually going to work for me um i ended up finding my first family in kessel i think i'm thinking right Borken, which is um a part of germany um not a lot of <laughs> younger people live in this area and I didn't really know this um, beforehand but when I got there I found out quickly. <laughs> um, I really liked the first family that I had. They were really sweet people. I had two children um, but I just wasn't really grasping the area so to say. Um, there was not really many people that I could relate to in the area and yes I'm new here so of course I'm going to be looking for people to talk to and just so that I can get used to the culture but I really didn't get that feel and I began to be actually super super depressed so I only stayed with that family for three months and I talked with them and we both agreed that maybe it's just for the best that I find a new family and they were really they were okay with it and I was really nervous because I had never been in this type of situation where I signed a contract but I wasn't sure what to do. I was thinking, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to leave Germany now, but that wasn't the case. So I put my profile back up on the au pair world and I got a message, um, I wanna say within a week, I had a bunch of families still wanting me to be their au pair. So luckily, I found a lady in Germany, in Berlin, um, with only one child, and I stuck with them. And my German was really not in the best position while I was in Kessel, but it really improved while I was in Berlin. So when I was in Berlin with my family, my new host family, um, they actually did helped me get my language courses so I was able to learn German. Um, I don't fully learn it right now. Right now I would say that I'm at a B1 so I can understand so much and I can actually communicate back depending on how difficult the topic is. Um, but yeah I really had so much fun in Berlin and so after I got done with my au pair for I wanted to do an FSE yacht um, in Rustock where my partner lives. So that is what I'm currently doing right now. And it's for a whole year and it's just basically me volunteering, um, but I'm also getting a monthly salary and I get to pick which institution I wanted to work for. So right now I work for Akita um, with the Red Cross and I'm having a lot of fun with it. 
So I'm going to get to answering some of you guys' questions that you sent me. Um, question one, was it hard to learn German? <laughs> I am currently still learning German. Germany or German, the language by itself is very difficult, very much more difficult than English. Um, there's a lot of der, die, das, and those all mean the. And in English, we only have the. But everything has either der, die, or das. And it's just, sometimes it can be a little bit confusing. But overall, um, I would say everybody's different. I have friends who learned German in six months. I've heard friends that have been here for five years and still don't know how to speak German. Me, myself, personally, I've been here for a year and a half and I can say that my German has improved tremendously. But only because my boyfriend is German and um, I work at a school that only speaks German. So I'm really forced to have to put myself in the position to actually learn the language to understand what I need to do with my job. So it's different for everybody and I really hope that you guys push through because it is really difficult to want to fight and say oh I give up and I've had those fallbacks quite a few times but I would really recommend to just keep pushing and you'll make it I promise you'll make it eventually um another thing how would you describe German culture in general? Um, I have I have some German friends here and they're really awesome. One thing I can say that if you do find a friend, a really good sincere friend, um, they'll last forever and they're really genuine and sweet. Um, Germans do have this type of cold um, vibe that makes you seem like, oh, like, do they, am I, you know? But I would really take the time to get to know someone before I just off the bat judge them. And when I first got here, I did judge because I'm growing up in the US, people are more vocal. And if someone doesn't like you, they're going to tell you. But if someone doesn't know you, they're going to be, have a nice posture towards you. But here in Germany, you don't really get that. People are a lot of like standoffish. <laughs> So that's pretty much what I can say about that. Um, but also, it's different in every area. I will say that as well. So don't take what I just said for the whole country of Germany. <laughs> so in Berlin, I had a lot of people who are very sweet, but I also had some people who were very different. <laughs> so everyone, everyone's different. So that's all that I can really say about that. Um, let's get to some more of these questions. How to make friends in Germany? I would just say put yourself out there as much as you can. Not, not so much to where you're giving too much of yourself away. But I really struggled when I first got here to make friends. And that is actually very vital to you wanting to be persistent on staying in Germany and doing your au pair. Um, I would say my in my own pair when I was in Berlin, I stayed in the house for I think the first month. And then after that, I just I said, you know what? I don't want to be going home every night or going to sleep every night after watching the kids all day. I want to go out and I want to explore Germany. And so that's what I did. And I went out and I got on Facebook. There's so many um, groups in Germany that you can find and like international groups so there's always people also looking for friends and there's people that I went out with one night and we had the best night of our lives and I probably would never see them again but it's a memory that I made and I'm happy and yeah I would think that it's very vital for you to just put yourself out there and just let it be known that hey I'm looking for friends because it can be very depressing if you just stay and do your job and don't really get to explore the new area that you're in. So I would just say, do it. Just go out there and just do it. So the next question, 
<clears throat> how did you get into the country with visa so of course i started off as an au pair and i had an au pair visa i don't really know what that would be called because i had the visa with the au pair um and now it's for a year and there's so many visas that you can get and i'm still in the process of learning it right now because i want i'm wanting to change my career in a way so i'm really actually going through which visa should i do next um so right now i'm done with my au pair and i'm doing fse out and that's like a volunteer year and i'm doing it for a year so i got a visa with that so there's so many programs that you can do in Germany that offer visas. And next year, I'm planning on becoming a, doing an Ausbildung. And I don't know how long my visa will be, but it depends on the job and things like that. So it's different for every type of visa. There's freelance visa, there's a student visa, there's a visa that you can get just to learn the German language. There's literally so many. You just really have to do your research. Um, next question. What level of German did you have when you arrived? I had no knowledge of... No, let me rephrase that because you have to have at least an A1, which is like saying hello and things like that. And so I got on Lingoda and i did my first course for a1 so i completed my a1 and i knew simple phrases and things like that before i actually came to germany so that was really beneficial for me and it helped me out in a lot of ways so i had a1 <laughs> um <laughs> can au pairs non-eu enter germany at the moment because of corona um yes i'm i think so that's what i would say because i actually had a friend who um had an au pair family and was going to come here and then the corona situation happened but luckily she was still able to come to germany because she was already in the process of having it um happen um i would say that i would just be super safe with this because we are in the middle of a pandemic and we don't know what is actually going to happen in the future um so i would just say if you do decide that to come to germany from the us or any other non-eu country just to be safe and make sure that you're always washing your hands when you're on your flight and just make sure that everything's clean and sanitized but i would definitely still if you're wanting to be an au pair i would email one of the representatives and ask them is it okay but in my opinion i would say it's okay if you have the necessary precautions to go to the new country <laughs> Um, how did you deal with cultural differences and what were they? Hmm, so there's a lot of cultural differences that I'm actually still getting used to. Um, they have this thing here in Germany that when I was with my first au pair family, they eat every meal together and they have, um, coffee time and things like that. And I'm a really... So I love doing my au pair job, but I'm also still my own person. And that's one thing that you do not need to forget. You still are your own person. And you still have things that you want to do for yourself. And that is completely fine. Don't let anyone tell you that that is not okay. So with my first au pair family, when I was in Kessel, um, we had a lot of differences because I felt like I was overworked in a way. They wanted me to... Um, stay out of my room until 7 p.m. And I really wasn't okay with that because while the kids are at school, I should be able to go to my room and be able to do the things that I love to do that makes me happy and brings me joy. And I always had to eat dinner with them. And sometimes I maybe didn't want dinner. Sometimes I may be sad or I just want to talk to my family. And I felt like those types of um, cultural differences just, it didn't really work out for us and 
yeah so there will be a lot of cultural differences between you and your family and some families you might get along with so well like i said it's different for everyone but i would say if you have any type of feeling you need to talk to your au pair family about it don't just say oh, okay because it's not good if you're not feeling good about it let them know and, and if they don't want to change anything then i would just say maybe you have some things to think about <laughs> okay how was your experience in germany so far <sighs> one through ten i would say an eight and i'm saying an eight due to the corona as well um i love i love i love germany as a country it's really clean here to me versus the u.s there's a lot of um i've lost a lot of weight versus the u.s i mean i wasn't really bigger but still who doesn't like to lose weight um yeah the food is different everything is really different here um i would say that i like what i like about germany is that they give me healthier options and choices that i never really thought about so instead of like you know going to wendy's or chipotle which i miss so much <laughs> really i miss it so much but i know that those things are always good for me and since i don't have them here with me it's actually been helping me and clearing my mind and now i'm just going to go eat maybe a salad or a broth first something like that but yeah i i really do like germany and i like the friends that i have here and yeah i probably wouldn't change it for the world hmm what is the biggest difference between the u.s and germany that one is like there's so many differences so one thing that germany does that i don't really like they don't have any public rest what restrooms bathrooms they don't have any you have to pay for them and in the u.s we have one around every corner if you have to use the bathroom there, there's a bathroom there's a bathroom there's a bathroom but in germany there's not and if you want to use the bathroom, you need to pay. <laughs> Unless you just want to pee outside because that's what everyone does here. Literally, if they have to pee, they're just going to pee outside. <laughs> and I don't know, but since I come from the U.S. and I don't really see that often, I was just like, I just pee right, right here. <laughs> so yeah, it's something that you really have to get used to, but... It's an experience, I would say. Um, I think that's all the questions. But yeah, overall, I would definitely tell anyone to do the au pair job in any country because it's always great to get out of your comfort zone and just see the different types of cultures and what the other side of the world has to offer. And I can say that um, I'm very happy to be in a position and blessed to be in the position that I am in right now. I love my life. Um, and there are times that you do go through depression. And currently right now, I am going through a very hard state in my life where I am questioning myself and my decisions that I'm making. But what I will say is just keep pushing through because you see that light at the end of the tunnel just don't let anything stop you from getting there and that's what i just keep having to tell myself especially during this pandemic i would just say i wish everyone luck and if you have any more questions i would always love to answer them just feel free to ask me <laughs> um my instagram is i underscore heart underscore dark so if you have any questions for me just ask me i'm your girl and I hope everybody has a great day.